cowboys from hell. Welcome out to my channel, folks. I am Smokey Cowboy. Thanks for sliding by, checking out a video. Don't want to subscribe? Don't fucking subscribe. Matter of fact, smash that dislike button. All right. On to today's topic. Today, we are going to show you, well, the keys to unlocking the mystery within the mystery. The big one, folks. Yes, I am talking about the Mount Chiliad mystery that we have been searching for the answers to for over two and a half years, going on three. Oh my God, and we still haven't figured this thing out. Rockstar has gotten so disappointed us, uh, so disappointed in us over this that they clearly have recently came out and gave us several hints trying to point us in the right direction and what they, what we're missing, the obvious shit. And I think there is a lot more obvious shit that I would like to point out to you today, and that is what this video is all about um there are a couple of things you are going to need number one of which being your map people that's right open up that case of yours and pull out your fucking map for many of us it'll probably be the very first time you have ever pulled this map out i know it's crazy right well guess what the answers have been right in front of our face the entire time obvious as obvious can get what you're looking at right now is me at the end of my journey for now and this is where my investigation has led me to Mount Chiliad yes but there is more and more and more to this story folks Galileo, Galilei is indeed the key. Do your research on him. All your mystery hunters out there that want to unlock this mystery, I think that is what we need to do. I think Galileo is the key. There are so many things referencing Galileo. The observatory is clearly named after him. There is a Galileo Park. You see this hollow tube, man? This hollow dead tree just kind of pointing towards Mount Chiliad? Yeah, well, I think that's very symbolic of something, and I will show you at the end of this video well close to it. All right, for now, on to Galileo Galilei. All right, let me give you some very interesting facts. You can Google this shit. Wikipedia is your friend, folks. For all you mystery hunters out there, keep in mind that everything Rockstar puts into this game, they put in based on a real-life something. So, that being said, they are going to take and put real-life shit in with this mystery. This being... Um, the big one, okay? The one that is supposed to be hard to figure out. I think it's because we have to take real life things and f piece them together. This is something we found today. A cross on the top of, I believe, that is, let me look at my map. See, this is why we need the fucking map, people. Hold on, let me see what that one is. That is Mount Chizinski. That is a cross on top of Mount Chizinski. Clear as day. We tried shooting it, blowing it up, all sorts of good shit. Damn thing would not go away. This guy has got all kinds of crazy shit to say. But he ain't there. He ain't. And here coming. Here coming. 
Listen to what this guy is saying. Been to the mountaintop? Hmm. We are going to drown in fire. All of us together. The fire of our stupidity and the hubris of our willful existence. Our desires are going to swallow us whole. And that's what they want because they aren't looking. Aren't seeing, won't listen, haven't got eyes. Haven't got eyes and aren't listening. Hmm. Grapes on a vine. Hmm. The complacency, this complacency, this tiredness, this boredom. They they defeated my America, man. My America of, of dreams and love and hair. And now you're all bald. Bald heads and bald cocks and no difference between the two, you priapic fools. You're gonna be roasted in a barbecue with your own desires and eaten whole. Bald. You're coming, I tell you. Cox. Pry epic fools. They're coming for us, man. They're coming for us. They're gonna eat us whole and spit out our bones. Our filth is attracted to all the trails of the mess and the greed. <laughs> we made ourselves fat and stupid and easy to digest. I've spoken with them. They're gonna spare the animals and the gingers. Bones, animals, dog, chop, huh. Open your eyes and open your minds and stop following everybody else's ideas. All we got is each other, and you would gladly drink your own mother's blood for a dollar off coupon and a membership in a country club, you fools! You divided fools! All we have is each other, you divided fools. We have made them very angry with our greed and our venality and our stupidity and now they're coming to take back what was theirs all along. We're finished. Say your prayers. Pray your 401k and your mortgage rate and be grateful for all they have given you. Did you just see the cross symbol that he just did? Say your prayers. What does this look like to you folks? Does it maybe look like three crosses? Yes, I know. Jesus was crucified with two other people. I'm not talking about Jesus here. I'm talking about fucking GTA. It either is three X's that we need to complete or three crosses. This is a another painting right next to it that has words all throughout this fucking thing. Poker right there in the middle. Hello up there at the top. All of these paintings are very significant, folks. Let me explain something to you about these paintings. 
there is a song in GTA called Strange Paintings. Recently, a rock star developer has come out with very prominent hints directing us towards audio clips. These paintings are normally seen right side up. I took them and turned them upside down and you can see that there is a little bit more to them. Now obviously I didn't do that with these. This is something I, I don't know what we have to blow up obviously. Every one of these paintings is a key to the big one. We have to do everything that is in these paintings. This one is Franklin's clearest day. There's a Bigfoot symbol. There is a bone at the bottom. Franklin is the only one who can complete the Bigfoot. It is the actual last mission. It's called the last one. And he is also the only one that has a dog that he can use. The bone, the dog shows up as a bone um, on your screen. And I think that is where the little half of bone sticking out of the head, what that represents. They didn't want to put the whole bone because, well, that would give it away too easily. That is obviously Franklin. This one is Trevor. Has to be. The reason why I say that is because of the guy at the bottom looks just like Trevor. Bad hologram image. Obviously, maybe, maybe, we don't know yet. Could be that really bad hologram image of a ghost. Trevor eats locust flowers and turns into an orca and um, some other shit. I think that the locust flower and that fishy looking thing right next to it might be something that maybe we need to turn into an orca and find some sort of weird tube that leads down to something. Maybe second base. There is a 2B underneath it. Maybe that is once you get to that point, you are at second base. You are getting there, getting close. But this one is obviously Michael. The reason why I say that is because of the heart with what looks to be an arrow through it and what looks to be Tracy underneath it. A lot of people think that that says tracked. However, I think they are referring to Tracy, Michael's love throughout the entire storyline well the beginning until bitch does them wrong nonetheless i think that is what that is referring to also you see hand and bong there well hand and bong michael they, they go together because michael actually sees aliens and weird shit with the hand or i'm sorry with the bong when he hits the bong uh, anytime he smokes pot in this game, he you know sees aliens, hallucinations, and some weird shit happens. Um, I think that is referring to that. Um, I do think that also the words on here are an anagram. They do not mean what they say. They need to be reassembled and respelled to make a word of some sort that will lead us in that right direction with the exception of the tracy and some of the others like how many three and in the in the in the i think all that is not an anagram however i think the inside the head is an anagram i think that the pre pessimist stakes or whatever the fuck it is i googled that to see what that means and the closest thing to that top word actually meant something to do with not understanding or understanding rather sorry of some sort of investigation work like literally the closest thing came up was something to do with figuring out a fucking riddle so i'm pretty sure that's what it means is it's some sort of anagram because it wasn't the exact word um however the, you know, these paintings, the, it is clear as day that this shit in these paintings is what we have got to do to unravel the big giant mystery. This particular word actually means in French the collection of arts of one person. Meaning, like it, it literally, it means... Um, the collection of an author, composer, or painter's works. Singular. One. One dude. That's what that word means. So I think that 
all of these paintings tie together to the one big giant mystery. I don't think that these paintings point us in, you know, one direction and then we figure out one thing and then that's it. Like it or like the um, the murder eight mysteries or the um, Michael's mystery that he does with the the ghost and shit. Um, which that's what I did think was odd about the hologram image thing at the top of Trevor's. 1944 is significant because it was the very first year that a UFO crash was reported. No shit, folks. Before Roswell. Look it up. Peter Davenport made the very first UFO report. And, you know, with the whole Epsilon program leading to... Unarius, the real life cult, Google that as well, of what GTA's version of the Epsilon program is. Um, they also believe in aliens coming down and shit and this, that, and the other. So, yes, aliens are a big prominent part in this game. Obviously, you see here the Mount Chiliad symbol, it was only half of it. They hid the other half so that we wouldn't see it right away. Um, but yes, that symbol is on top of Mount Chiliad as well. The reason why I'm showing this is because you see graffiti like this all throughout the game. However, the graffiti on the bottom here that you see is actually not in online. Don't believe me? Go look. Go to that spot online and you will see a lot of that shit that is up there is not on there on the online version. So, that being said, that means that there's probably a lot more things that are in story mode as far as graffiti and what have you. And for all you treasure hunters that think you're going to find shit online that is going to help you in solving this story mode mystery, keep in mind that it is strictly a story mode mystery. I can guarantee you whatever it is, you won't find it online. And that is why that painting of the three protagonists is on there um here you see i am at the galileo uh, galileo observatory in real life the griffin observatory and this particular piece is not in the real life griffin observatory this piece is however the one before it is not now, it is all set up the exact same as the real life one, with the exception of the only planet you see that we actually monitor is Uranus. Obviously, I think that is because of the Unarius cult. We are supposed to try to piece all of that together. Um, there's a documentary that I would recommend watching for everyone who has Hulu called um, the, what is it? Unarius the Star Child or some shit. I don't know. It's a Unarius documentary on Hulu. Search fucking Unarius. You'll find it. All right. Here you see I'm inside the Galileo Ob Observatory. Yes, I glitched my way in there. Don't fucking worry about how I did it. Bottom line is there is nothing inside of this son of a bitch. So that, that it was my proof of showing you that that is not why we're here. Because of the light that's on there is a trick. It is simply something to throw us off because Rockstar thought that they made this mystery so obvious that we would have gotten it a long time ago. However, we've been a ways off. I think that we've been close several times and I think that they know that we're close. We're just not, we're, we're not piecing it together. So... Let me give you a couple of facts and rundowns on some things here um, real quick. Galileo Observatory obviously was named after Galileo. Galileo Park is right next to the Galileo Observatory. You will see on this map there is a road, several roads named after Galileo in this game. Galileo is considered by many to be the father of modern day science. He is the father indeed of the modern day telescope. We would not have the telescope that we have without Galileo. Uh, what you see here is the beaver. 
And this is what I think is significant of this. You have a beaver in this symbol. You have an owl in this symbol. You have a Bigfoot and you have a Lone Star flag. Okay. The owl in the Illuminati represents the secrecy of the Illuminati. The Bigfoot, obviously, Franklin, Bigfoot, there you go. You put that one together real easy. Now, the owl could mean two hoots falls. There is that owl there, and it could be because the guy said something about grapes on a vine, shit. Remember at the beginning of the video? Well, it could be something to do with that vine yard. We found some really weird shit going on there here recently. And, yeah, so... <laughs> As far as the beaver goes, I think that has to do with the observatory. Um, this guy I just thought was very strange. He has three satellites pointing in the directions of Mount Chiliad, Mount Chizinski, and Mount Gordo, I believe. Um, this is just uh, the other big juice stand, which I find to be really strange. The reason why I'm showing you these apples and oranges and this fish... Remember that map I told you to pull out? Pull that map out. Go ahead, pause the video. Pull that map out. And we'll go back to that. Okay? And I'm going to show you that in just a moment once again. There is a reason for all of that, folks. Let me give you a couple of facts here. Alright? Italian male given name, Galileo, derives from the Latin... Galileus, meaning Galilei, with two E's. Pull out that trusty old map. Remember, I told you, all of our keys to what we need are in this map, folks. Right below Mount Chiliad, right above the Alamo Sea, you will notice there is an area called Galilei, with two E's, meaning a biblically significant region in northern Israel. That is what the meaning of that area they called Galilee on their map. No shit. Yeah, no shit. All right. Remember that how I told you that that painting gallery is strictly for one guy? Well, get this. Galileo was an author of many books, paintings, and actually a composer as well. Yeah, I know, right? What does that mean again? That word that was at the top of that fucking gallery? A collection of work by a single author, composer, or painter. He was all fucking three, folks. Okay, fantastic. I'm glad you people are keeping up with me. Do you see this fucking symbol right here? Okay, got the Epsilon program up at the top of that symbol. You got a beaver right there by the damn thing. Like it, I don't know, maybe Galileo is indeed the key, folks. Let me explain. All right. He wrote many books, many, many books. The, the, the Little Balance, Balance of Air and Water... Letters on suns, uh, Sunspots, he wrote that as well. Two Chief World System. Um, disclosure on the Tides, he wrote that as well. Yes, he wrote books about how the tides work with the sun and the moon. And he actually was sentenced to death of his belief that the earth revolved around the sun instead of the other way around. No shit. The Catholic Church sentenced this guy to death. Because he believed that the earth revolved around the sun instead of the sun revolving around the earth. The earth was meant to be there. Alright, well, anyhow, going to this fish. You pull out that map there and you will notice this fish matches the fish at the bottom of your map. No shit. There's a little symbol called the seal symbol for... The county of Blaine County. Alright, folks. Do you see this tunnel right here by this fish? Guess what? Guess what we're looking at? Guess what region we're in? Galilee. Guess what that looks like? A tunnel that never fucking ends and goes all the way to and inside 
Mount Chiliad. But it has bars on it, right? Right, because maybe the bars come off when it gets unlocked, when you get the rest of the shit done. Or maybe you have to eat a locust flower and turn into an animal to get into that tube. I don't know. I can't answer those questions for you. What I can tell you is that at the bottom of your map, if you look, it clearly shows you a symbol that has Mount Chiliad. It has a cock. Remember that weird fucking guy that said cock? Bald cocks? Yeah. All right. Got apples and oranges, which are mostly only found in the Blaine County area. Those little apple oranges stands. And it also has that fish. Holy shit, it has the fish that I just showed you. Yeah, I know, right? We're getting there, folks. We are, but we have got to work together. Even that weird bum that I was just playing the audio of um, said that we have to work together. This is Chop Filter. Maybe Chops can see things that we can't, man. Maybe you have to be fucking Chop. I know that in one of the missions, you can play as Chop. You can, you know, maybe you have to go in that tunnel as Chop. I don't know. I really don't know. I do know that Chop is one part of the key. The other part of it is, I believe, well, based on his final book that he wrote, The Assayer. Yes, I know I think that's funny as well. The Assayer, which means what, like, the, what the book was about which promoted mathematical formulation of scientific ideas. Yeah, boom, drop the mic, right? All right. The last book he wrote, folks, was based on the idea of taking mathematical formulations and applying them to scientific ideas. Now, I know you see what, what I'm pointing at right here. I'm pointing at the top of the sign where it says the collection of works, but right next to it, what does that look like? A painting with barred tunnel. A barred tunnel. What else would that represent, man? I don't know. Call me fucking crazy, but there is a song in the game called Strange Paintings. Listen to it if you don't believe what I'm talking about. This is a group effort, folks. We are all going to have to work together. All you little treasure hunters out there, man. Everybody to stop by and watch my video. I appreciate it. Make sure you smash that dislike button, fuck Rockstar, and by the way, man, anybody that does figure this shit out, if I helped you out at all, and even like a little bit of a way, would you please give me like, just like an ounce of credit? Alright, man, Galileo Galilei, Google that shit, research that shit, I promise the mathematical formulation is the key to the answers. I promise. They didn't just make shit random. They did it mathematically. I can assure you. I am Smokey Cowboy, and this has been one exhausting video to make. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch it, though, man. Check us out on Social Club. Cowboys from hell for life, baby. Thanks. So I came back because I have got to tell you two key points that I forgot to point out in the video. This building does not exist in real life. Well, I take that back. The building exists. However, there is a restaurant here. There is not a fucking paint gallery here. Everything else you see around it exists in real life. This is an exact replica of Hollywood Boulevard in real life. With the exception of this building folks no shit this building is a fucking restaurant in real life and is not an art gallery so why would rockstar take the time and make every single thing resemble and be identical to something in real life with the exception of one weird art gallery with a bunch of weird fucking paintings trying to point us in one certain direction think about it